Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So back in May of this year, 2023, I posted a video that there was a new Edge for Gamers feature and setting that Microsoft had started testing for some users in Edge Canary. And just to let you know now that this is now starting to become a reality. And as I mentioned previously in that video, which I'll leave a link to down below, the feature previously in May was called Edge for Gamers and now is called Gaming Loadout. And this is currently a feature that is rolling out on a control rollout in Edge Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version, as many of you may know. And uh, um, because it's on a controlled rollout, it's region specific at this stage. I haven't received it yet. But just to uh, let you know more or less what to expect, and um, we can head over to once again to some screenshots provided by Leo over on Twitter, who has already received the feature. And here we can see the toggle, which seems to be off by default. So it looks like you will have the option to be able to toggle that on. And it looks like this could be a feature now that's obviously market, Microsoft is targeting the gamers who are using the browser. And as I mentioned previously, obviously Microsoft now take trying to take on the likes of Opera GX, which obviously is a browser that is focused more towards gamers. So it's called Gaming Loadout, and the description for the actual setting reads, level up your experience in and out of game with a gaming homepage, sidebar apps for gamers, efficiency mode for PC gaming, dark mode, gaming themes, and more. So basically, this is what the setting is going to introduce. And then if you turn that setting on, if we head to the next screenshot, you can see here are a couple of the features. So experience the best browser for gamers. And yeah, it says reduce CPU usage. So you can toggle this on to apparently reduce your uh, processor usage. And it says automatically reduce CPU usage while playing PC games. You can also manage resource usage from the performance hub, which is this uh, toggle found at the top. As many of you will know, the performance hub uh, in uh, Microsoft Edge. And if we just... Uh, Head back to the next setting, the gaming homepage, see game highlights, live streams, upcoming games, tournaments, exclusive rewards, recently played games, gaming news, and more. And then we get apps for gamers. And I actually mentioned this previously, if this is toggled on, it will then customize the sidebar with apps for gamers like Twitch, Discord, Drop, File Transfer, Games, and more. And Drop is already available. If we just head over as an example, Drop is already available as a feature in the stable version and in the preview versions so that won't be a actual new feature but nonetheless it will bring drop file transfer and twitch and discord and more to the actual sidebar focusing more on those productivity tools for gamers and then yeah we get superior multitasking multitask with ease with split screen which is already a feature as many of you will know and picture in picture or stay on top of your tabs with vertical tabs and tab groups and it looks like obviously you'll have the option to turn each of these actual settings on and off to optimize your Edge browser, um, as Microsoft says, for the best experience for gamers. And then moving on to the next screenshot, uh, you can also personalize your theme. So yeah, they have actual themes now for gamers. So it says equip your favorite theme to accompany you on your browsing journey. Um, it's, it's like a companion for the web will you choose light or dark? So you can choose match system, light, dark. And this is actually called system default, but I see they've renamed that to match system. And now you get themes for gamers. And if we head to the last screenshot provided, we can see that in the actual um, the tab strip, things looking very um, much like Oprah GX, as mentioned. So obviously with these gaming themes now and these new gaming settings, Microsoft, as mentioned, is trying to reduce your CPU usage. They're giving you that gaming homepage. You get in those apps and obviously you get a better multitasking. And if we head to the actual Edge Canary browser 117, although I haven't received the feature yet, if we just head over to the appearance page, just to put this all into context uh, to uh, just for today's video, on the appearance page, if we scroll down, this is where that setting will appear. Right near the bottom. And it'll be yeah, just under use double click to close browser tab. So this is where the setting will appear as mentioned, gaming um, loadout. And I don't actually know why Microsoft is calling it loadout, but I'm sure they have their reasons and we will find that out obviously in the future. But nonetheless, this is where the gaming loadout toggle and setting will be. And if we head back to 
our homepage. If you have your news feed enabled to some extent or the other, there is already a gaming homepage. But obviously, um, with this new feature now and toggling it on, Microsoft may obviously start um, updating this gaming homepage um, with obviously a new layouts and features. But obviously, I can't show you that as yet because I haven't received the actual feature. But when I do get this feature, guys, and it does become available, as mentioned, gaming loadout, I will post and do a, a complete hands-on. But just wanted to let you know because I do know a lot of you who do um, view this channel are gamers. So maybe a feature um, that would be handy for gamers. I don't know at this stage if this is just more bloat. But at this stage, it does seem like it may be of benefit and does seem, as mentioned, that Microsoft now are trying to take on the locks of other browsers and targeting gamers like Opera GX. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.